Hi, and welcome back to our next video. In the last video, we set up a server and we used the HTTP server function in Cisco Packet Tracer. In this video, we're going to set up a server, but this time we're going to set up an email server. We're going to have a LAN with two users, Mohammed and Simran, and we're going to have this LAN connected to an email server and then try to do an email test. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, we need some end devices. So we're going to go down here, click on end devices. We're going to need a PC here for Mohammed and one for Simran. The server itself, we're going to click on server and put that there. Then we're going to need a switch inside the LAN. So we're going to go to switches. Let's pick a 2960. So let's put a 2960 in. And we're going to need a router as well. Let's use a 2911. So we'll put that there. Let's go in and configure the server as an email server first. Remember, we've got a number of options in Cisco Packet Tracer. If we click on the server, and we go to services, we can see the number of services that we can use it for. We're gonna use it as an email server. So let's click on email. It defaults to SMTP and POP3. We're gonna keep it like that and we need to give it a domain name. So why don't we call it hmail.com. We're gonna have two users and we're actually gonna set the users here. So Mohammed is one of our users and we're gonna set the password for him as one two three four five click plus and then we have Simran and we are going to choose the password one two three four five as well click plus so there we've got two users and we've got the domain name chosen and now we need to go to desktop and set up the IP address for this device. So if we go back here, you can see that for this server, we're going to use the IP address 10.0.0.2. Click on subnet mask. It defaults to that. And let's close that. Let's hardwire the devices together. So we're going to go here and click on copper straight through. These two are different devices. So we're going to use a copper straight through from the fast Ethernet port on the PC to one of the fast Ethernet ports on the switch. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to do the same thing for the other PC. Click on this like so. Then we need to connect the switch to the router. So click on the switch. We're going to use one of the gigabit ports and click on gigabit port 0 slash 0 like so. Then we need to connect the email server to the router. So we'll choose gigabit ethernet port 0 slash 1. So there we've got those connected. Now we need to go in and configure our devices. Let's go into Muhammad's PC. Let's click on that. And we're going to go to desktop. We're going to go to IP configuration. And we said we're going to use 192.168.0.5. Click on subnet mask and close that. We're going to go to Simran's PC. And we're going to go to desktop IP configuration. Static IP address of 192.168.0.7. Dot zero dot seven. Click on subnet mask and we'll close that. We need to go to the router and configure the router. Remember, we don't have to do anything with the switch. It is a plug and play device. So click on router and let's just move this over here so we can see. We're going to go to config. We're going to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 that's this one here coming in on this side and we said we're going to choose the IP address for that as 192.168.0.1 click on subnet mask and then we need to turn that port on 
let's go to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 port and that's going to be this port over here and we're going to use 10.0.0.1 click on subnet mask make sure you turn the port on and let's close that now if we have set up everything properly we should be able to do a successful data test so let's try that under simulation mode we're going to click on simulation and then I'm going to go here to add a simple PDU protocol data unit click on that I'm going to click on Mohammed's device and click on the server and let's see if we can do this it says we're in progress we go over here and capture then forward you can see that it just jumped here it didn't seem to work properly and then it somehow broadcasted from there so it did not do what we expected at all so there's a reason why we forgot to do something we need to tell each end device what the default gateway is so we need to do that for instance for the server for the server here here's the default gateway address to the router here so I need to put this in as the default gateway so let's go into here and let's click on IP config you can see that we didn't do that we have to do that so it's 10.0.0.1 and let's close that we need to do it for each of our PCs so click on Mohammed's and go to IP config and this is going to be 192.168 dot zero dot five we'll close that we're gonna go to simrans and we're gonna go here and again that is also 192.168.0.1 so now we've set the default gateway for each end device so now let's try to do a data test we're in simulation mode I'm gonna to go to here click on add a simple PDU and click on Mohammed's PC click on the server and let's see if this works so the packets go to the switch as we'd expect and it does go to the router although it did broadcast to this device as well let's just carry on from here and then it broadcasts out so that's not doing what we expected let's delete this here and let's just try it again so let's go here click on this device and click on this device here and let's try it again so it does go from Mohammed's to the switch it does broadcast out from there and it's not working like we expected so something is not quite right let's just go in and make sure that we've got everything configured properly let's go into the server here and click on IP config and everything looks right there services email server we have everything set up for the PCs let's go into IP config uh, there it is there so this should be default gateway 0 slash 1 so there there's our mistake let's just double check this one here and that one looks right so now if I go to do the data test and click from here to here and let's try it this time so it does go to the switch it does broadcast but it does make it to the router and then it comes back so it didn't do what we thought let's just try it again so click on here let's click on this let's click on this end device let's try it again so there our simulation work this time it sends the acknowledgement back like that so that seemed to work properly sometimes the simulation doesn't work for various reasons just try it again if it doesn't work um, we can try it again from the other device if we want so let's delete let's try it again from Simran's computer so let's go here 
let's click on simrans and then click on the server and let's just step through again so it does go to the switch does broadcast from there does go to the router and back so it's doing the same thing it did before let's just delete this and try it again just in case you get the same errors when you're trying it you might see that really that's the same error so there this time it's going to the right device ends up going to the server and it sends the acknowledgement back and hopefully it goes back to Simran's computer and it does so there let's delete that simulation everything seems to be working we're gonna keep moving forward so next thing we need to do is we need to go in and configure the email for each of the users so I'm gonna click on Mohammed's and we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see email so we're gonna click on email here and just scroll up here we need to put in this information here we need to put in our name well in this case it's Mohammed's and his email address is Mohammed at hmail.com the incoming mail server is the address for that and that is right here that is 10.0.0.2 same for outgoing 10.0.0.2 username is Mohammed and the password we said was one two three four five we're gonna click Save and we're gonna close that we're gonna go to Simran's we're gonna go to her desktop and we're gonna go down to email and scroll up here so her name Simran the email address is Simran at hmail.com we need the address for the server 10.0.0.2 and 10.0.0.2 and username is simran and password is 12345 click save and there now we can actually try to send an email from say Simran to Mohammed so let's do that we're logged in to Simran's account right now so we're gonna compose and we're gonna compose to Mohammed at hmail.com and we'll say hello from Simran and we'll put hi there so there now if we click send and we close Simran's email on her PC and let's go in to Mohammed's so if we click on his and we go to his email and scroll up and we go to click receive click receive and we don't see anything so let's try to let's just close simulation mode let's go to real time and let's just try it again maybe that was impacting it so let's go to here we're in real time let's go to email and it looks like it was trying to do it in simulation mode so let's go to compose let's try it again so we're going to send an email to Mohammed at hmail.com and hi from Simran and we're going to send we're going to close up Simran's and we're going to go to Mohammed's we're going to go to his email click here scroll up we're gonna go to receive and there we've received it so notice that it didn't work in simulation mode but it did work in real-time mode so make sure we're in real-time mode when you try this so I hope that was informative hopefully now you know how you have to set up an email server in Cisco Packet Tracer that's it for this video take care we'll see you next time